we're so toasty. Anytime you want to come on down and hang out with us, have a glass of wine here at the filming, 6 p.m. at Backbenchers, you are most welcome. And what a panel tonight, but what topics? Also talking about the refugee quota later on in the show. But uh, first, let me welcome uh, to you the uh, National MP for Hamilton West, Tim McIndoe. Tim, welcome. Hi, Wallace. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm well. Good thank you for you letting me share this moment with you. It's a pleasure. And, and your beer. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, no, Tell me uh, a little bit of an in joke. We, yeah, yeah, we, we were sipping the yeah, same beer. Yeah. I'm sure uh, it was mine, but anyway, um, what's yours? Advice mine? for Colin Craig. Yeah, probably don't try to stage a comeback too soon. All right, very good. <laughs> hey, now, I thought we'd do something a bit different. Three cultural questions, the top three. So here's your three. Okay, quickly. Question one. It's date night in Hamilton West. Where do you go? Date night or steak night? Date night. Date night. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the most beautiful steak at home. Why would I leave home when I've got a beautiful wife back there? Oh, that's very <laughs> sweet. All right. Question two. One book the whole country has to read. Ooh, I really enjoyed The Thorn Birds. I love that book. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, great one. And poor old Colin McCulloch died not so long ago. All right, ago. very good. And finally, your favourite scene in Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> I any, know you watched it. Anyone that I don't appear in, I think. But I haven't watched it. I'm sorry. I really, really haven't watched it. <laughs> I know I'm the only one here who hasn't, but I haven't. All right, very good. All right, and will you please welcome uh, Labour MP for Wigram, Megan Woods. Thank you. Nice to be here. Nice to be very, here. Very, very good. Okay. Your advice for Colin Craig? Well, Colin Craig, it's, mm, yeah, yeah, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's yours. Here's your cultural, <laughs> cultural quiz. One mm -hmm. movie you've seen more than twice. One movie I've seen more than twice. Oh, that would have to be Back to the Future. Oh, I love it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Oh, oh. <laughs> Very. Hope for the later round of your last. <laughs> We'll talk about your films next, too. Yeah. <laughs> your favourite novelist? My favourite novelist? Oh, I'm going to be very boring, Margaret Atwood. And date night in Wigram, where do you go? I'll watch the Crusaders win at our wonderful temporary oh, stadium, no AMI Stadium in Addington. All right, very good. <laughs> Welcome to the show. And, when did uh, that last happen? <laughs> and for the first time, it's always great to get new MPs on the back bench. the first time ever. New Zealand first MP for Rotoroa, uh, Fletcher Tabuto. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. Thank oh, you. Lots of supporters over there. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. very grateful. Very grateful. The whole family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't have to pay them. No, that's right. <laughs> All right. Your advice for Colin Craig? Oh, well, talk about waiting till later, I think. Just wait for a very, very indefinite period what do you of time. Have, what do you, should he have done the news conference? Put him in. What do you, should he have done the news conference? No? All right. Okay, here we go. Here's your top three. Okay. If you directed a film about a great New Zealander, who would it be about? Oh, that's pretty obvious. It would have to be the Right Honourable oh. Winston Peter. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. All right. If it was decided, if it was decided to put a new statue of a great New Zealander outside Parliament, who would it be? Oh, no. oh. Um, Professor uh, I'm going to be boring and say the right honourable wisdom. Oh. Right, okay, finally. And finally, and finally, a new Bond film was shot here, and they, wa and they, and they wanted a Kiwi as the lead. Who would you choose? Okay, absolutely. And very finally, date night. Who would you take? Oh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Dave? I'm, I'm good. I just have to point out to Tim, um, when we ask you what date night is, it's not going out on a date with someone who isn't your wife. As you know, I was like, well, I know I'm quite happy with my wife. It's like, yeah, take yeah, her okay, on a date. Okay. Right, gotcha. <laughs> good, good, good. good. Fletcher, what a good-looking New Zealand first team. Well, 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 plays his card well, right. He could be the next Brendan Horan. Oh. He, uh, yeah. he, gives, he, gives he gives David Seymour on for his money, do you think? He does. Da actually, David Seymour, while we're, while we're talking about it, um, just over there, happy birthday, yeah. David happy Seymour. Birthday, David. How, how old are you today, sir? 32. 32? Really? 32? Honest. Weren't you, like, the youngest MP around for a while or something? No, there's heaps of younger MPs than me. Oh, okay, all right, well, that's okay. I've, I've told everyone in the pub to buy you a drink tonight, and you've got a speech in Parliament at what time? 7.30. Should be interesting. <laughs> Watch it. All right, uh, time to have a look at our, this week's top five. At number five, Auckland Zoo gets a new elephant. No, there's nothing political about that. It's just a new elephant. But i tell you what, at number four, Colin Craig better hope people have got worse memories than Anjali. The Conservatives in tatters over a whole lot of stuff that I don't want to get sued for alluding to. At number three, speaking of what goes on behind closed doors, Labour has new doors installed at Parliament to stop people snooping. 
Talk about closing the door once National Party staffer Jason Eid has already bolted. At number two, President Obama drops the N-bomb and people get mad because racism. But then they also get mad when Walmart removes the Confederate flag from its stores. America! And finally, it gets cold. Real cold. Even inside the TV studio, apparently. I know what you're thinking, climate change deniers, but guess what? This morning's low of minus 20 was 5 degrees warmer than the low 100 years ago. So there you go, science.